We know that the contest on the 31st of October is likely to be close, and in that context, Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister, has, as predicted, made his way to Queensland to campaign for the LNP. He's largely done it turning up and discussing federal issues and discussing the federal budget. He's also turned his attention to the last federal election campaign, where the state of Queensland really did deliver him the election victory that few expected. He's reminding voters up in Queensland about some of the Bill Shorten policies from that campaign. It remains to be seen, though, whether that will really work for the state LNP. Traditionally, voters do delineate between state and federal political issues, although not always. And Scott Morrison is building momentum, he hopes, for his LNP colleagues around some of those federal issues that also relate back to the budget. And given the context of some of the clashing between the Queensland Labor Premier and the Liberal Prime Minister at the federal level, there may be a chance that those issues do in fact overlap. But the LNP and the LNP leader, she's had a world of problems in week two of the campaign with a lot of the scuttlebutt that some of the issues that she's faced criticism on have developed because of internal tensions within the LNP. And what's most risky about this is not necessarily the issues themselves, but if a perception builds that there is instability internally, that might see Queensland voters sticking with the devil they know on polling day. Because we've seen ever since the amalgamation of the LNP with the Nationals and Liberals coming together into one party, there have been internal fractures and internal tensions there. And the risk, of course, as I say, is that all of these issues that she's faced bubble into that perception and cause difficulties. You can bet that the Labor Party is going to continue to look and campaign in that space. Undoubtedly, borders continues to be a significant issue. But as we work our way deeper into the campaign, state issues and some of the economic issues at the state level are likely to become more and more dominant, one would assume. I'll be back in week three to analyse exactly where things are at as we draw ever closer to polling day.